So here's my 2014 CF Moto Z Force 800 EX. I just finished mounting a light bar on it. Um, works pretty good. I got it off Amazon. I think it was about 65 bucks. Haven't gone out riding at night yet to try it out really. But, uh, <clears throat> All in all, this machine's not half bad. I've only used it once. I've only gone out riding once. Also bought this little light. I thought it'd be bigger. Uh, it's a little bit small, but I think it'll it'll be all right for what it's you know for what you need it for for just reverse. But if it's not enough, I guess I can always upgrade. It was like 20 bucks off Amazon, so it wasn't bad. Um, there's a cargo net that usually goes right here. I took it off. I have it sitting back there. I just threw it over my Honda such a nice little net I really don't want to damage it I'll save it for when I actually need it <clears throat> I know the Canadian version of this one has lights right here so over here down here in, uh, in the United States it, there's, there's blanks I guess these are like your turn signals up there in Canada and whatnot here that stuff you know these aren't street legal so we don't have that so that's why I mounted a couple rocker switches right here uh, this is reverse and this is uh, the front one um, and if you can see right here, I don't know how good that looks. I used a four inch angle iron, which I cut and you know, smoothed it out and painted it. And I used an um, inch and a quarter U bolts, wrapped them around the, the roll cage. And then uh, if you can see right there, this goes into that angle iron right down here. And then a little grommet for the uh, for the cord, which I think I kept a little bit too close. But all in all, the light bar's not half bad. I'll put it, turn it on here in a little bit when we get started. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the machine's not half bad. Um, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like nine five hundred down here. Um, here's a rear view of it inch hitch receiver so that's pretty sweet you know it doesn't look happy. it's a cool looking bike you know definitely need more aggressive tires do a lot of mud riding I let my buddy drive it and broke my winch so I just kind of rigged it with this one for now um, I'm gonna replace that anyway with the with one of those cords instead of these see how they kink up can't really see it but Right there against my finger, you can kind of see it. <clears throat> yeah, replace it with a synthetic rope. But yeah, that's my 2014 uh, CF Moto. Not a half bad looking machine, you know. So let me just turn it on really quickly so you can get an idea of that. Um, pretty much everything on this machine is metric so for those of you in America just be aware of that you're gonna have you know, get you some metric tools and be a little familiar with that stuff like this roll cage such an unusual size you know um, the inch and a quarter u-bolts fit but they're not perfect you have to play with them a little bit but yeah all right guys hope you liked it also add that it came with this um, this pole which is a sort of 
ready to hook up. You know, that's what it looks like in a way. And it goes, if you notice the back of it, this particular setup here plugs in right down there, right there. That's it right here. Hands in the way. But you get an idea right there. And just to show you how my lights look in the dark, wiper switch will turn on the front one. And there's that light in the front. So I'd say that um that light bar from Amazon for 65 bucks is pretty good value. It's pretty bright. It's not that dark in here. It's my garage. It's still daylight out. Sun's going down. That gives you another idea of how it is. And I'll turn on this little one I've got in the back as well. Check that one out. And there's that one. And that's what that one does right there. Pitch black. One in the back. And that one was about 20 bucks. Not a bad little little light. A little rocker switch, the daycare, I believe, or Daystar, sorry. There's that light in the front. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it.